my name is Zakaira and welcome to my video and podcast prepare for well-being not disease where I give you the master keys to not only your health and well-being so that you don't attract the coronavirus or any other virus or any other disease or anything else you don't want to attract but so that you can also create and attract into your life every single day of your life immense joy fun and freedom and love and abundance and anything else that you want to create in your life and how to ensure your well-being and abundance regardless of what other sheeple are doing on planet earth <clears throat> so i hope you enjoy this video hey my name is zakyron and i help success-minded people create the happy abundant lifestyle you love please come and visit me at zakyron.com for lots more audios and videos uh, and support and guidance to help you become a conscious, deliberate creator of reality. Go get yourself a copy of my free book, video, and audio series, The Master Keys of Success and Freedom at masterkeysofsuccess.info. Uh, there'll be a link on this uh, uh, post. Um, all right, here we go. Prepare for well-being, joy, and abundance, not disease and apocalypse. Bum, 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 bum. The only motivation behind every single person's actions is to feel good and feel better. All anyone wants is to be happy and feel happy and feel healthy and feel prosperous or at least feel better because some people are so far from happiness on the emotional scale that a jump to happiness is way too big of a leap. So they're just doing whatever feels better than feeling depressed or helpless or powerless, whatever emotional state they're in. Now most people focus on more upon what they don't like and don't want and the lack of what they do want, which makes them feel bad. So most people are looking for anything that makes them feel better. Whether that is as drastic as taking drugs or uh, a little less drastic, uh, getting drunk on alcohol, uh, something a little bit more fun, sex, etc. Or even less intense choices, uh, more pleasurable, just shifting your emotional state kind of choices of just doing things more fun. Uh, like hanging out with your friends, going to the movies, etc. Um, the other factor in the creation soup is most people do not understand that they create their reality based upon their thoughts, words, and actions. Most people, people believe that things like diseases can assert themselves upon them. And most people believe that they are victims and relatively powerless to improve the quality of their life, the quality of their health, etc., except through action and getting rid of what they dislike. But there is very little leverage in action to try to keep the monsters away. And the more you focus upon the monsters, the more these monsters will come at you because based upon the law of attraction the universe has no choice but to give you more monsters if that is all you are focused upon so humanity is currently in a panic state because they believe that the evil corona monster can get them any time unless they lock themselves in a hermetically sealed box but you will get more of whatever you are focused upon and if you are focused upon your fears of catching diseases, then it is pretty much guaranteed that if you focus upon your fears long enough and hard enough, you are going to attract them to you because that's the way the law of attraction works. It doesn't matter how hermetically seal yourself in. But of course, you can consciously create as much uh, a much better situation for yourself if you can master your own thoughts and therefore master your own vibration to create health and well-being rather than disease and the apocalypse bum 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 
So, instead of preparing for disease, death, and destruction, and the apocalypse, instead of preparing for, uh, you know, lack and destruction and etc. by hoarding toilet paper and food, which feels terrible when you do that because you're thinking about lack, and you're thinking about things you don't like and you don't want, Instead of doing that, you should be instead preparing for immense well-being and abundance and joy and excitement and love and adventure, etc. Then you will create those things in your life regardless of what insanity is happening on Earth. Here's an example. During the 9-11 World Trade Center attacks, I was blissfully sailing in Harvey Bay, communing with the whales on a sailing adventure. Now there is no news on the nautical radio channels. It's for boat traffic uh, and safety only, and we certainly wouldn't even listen to the news even if there was news. So we had no idea what insanity was going on in New York and everyone's obvious panic in the world. All we knew is that we had the entire bay to ourselves um, for some unknown reason, and we experienced we were experiencing complete and utter bliss every moment, blissfully unaware of the insanity going on on planet Earth. And the whales were singing so loudly we could hear them, uh, especially where we were positioned in the bay um, at night in on deck, on top of deck, and you normally can't hear the whales unless you're below deck with your ear right to the hull or you're diving under the water. So, um, <clears throat> I hope you get my point. Just because everyone else feels like a victim and they feel powerless and helpless and don't understand that it is impossible to catch diseases, it is impossible for diseases or anything or anyone to assert themselves upon you, um, and just because people don't understand that they can only attract these things to them based on how they think and how they're vibrating, um, and which makes them a vibrational match to that disease which attracts it to them, just because of that doesn't mean you have to follow the other sheeple over the cliff to your impending doom. You can create heaven in your life, even if everyone else is creating hell in theirs. So stop being a disempowered, wimpy victim, and stop preparing for the apocalypse by hoarding toilet paper, and instead prepare for goodness and fun and well-being and health and joy and abundance, because that's what you want, and it feels good to do that. And then the entire universe will rearrange itself to accommodate your beliefs and your perceptions about that reality. And regardless of how you're thinking, good or bad, the universe is going to rearrange itself to accommodate that. So why not focus upon goodness rather than badness? And it feels a million times better to do so because well-being and abundance is the direction that Source is always looking. Source never ever sees disease and destruction, ever, 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 ever. I mean, aren't you bloody tired of the yucky feelings in your stomach because you're everybody's always talking about this stupid virus? Think about something good. Think about fun things. Think about nice things, and you'll create fun and nice things, and you'll feel good, and, of course, you'll be healthy, happy, and um, etc. So... Again, Source never ever thinks about disease and destruction. If Source did, that would be de-evolution. Source is always instead focused on, upon growth and expansion and evolution. Your Source is always focused upon what you want, your goodness, your well-being, your abundance. Source is always focused upon your health and your joy, not upon your disease and your depression and your lack. So stop being a wimpy, whiny, poor me victim and start taking control of your life by becoming a conscious, deliberate creator of well-being and allowing this natural state of well-being and abundance 
that is the natural state of the universe to manifest in your life by getting out of your own way by stopping the fight against what you dislike and don't want. That is what victims do and you're not a bloody victim. So get your nose out of everyone else's business and start creating what you want into your physical reality by always choosing good feeling thoughts and good feeling conversations and taking good feeling actions, etc. Does it feel good to believe you're a helpless victim that can catch diseases? Hell bloody no. Does it feel good to believe you are an empowered creator of your reality and you only attract health and well-being and love and joy and abundance in your life? Hell yes or heaven yes. So do that and stop doing all the other shit. All right. I hope you got that. Please share this with your friends. Empower your friends by sharing these amazing teachings with them. Help your friends become conscious, deliberate creators of divine reality so that they can create ha happiness and wealth and abundance and whatever else they want in your life. So thanks again for watching this video. Uh, my name is Zakyron and I help success-minded people create the happy, abundant lifestyle you love. Go visit me at zakyron.com for more videos, audios, articles, podcasts to, to help you become a conscious, deliberate creator of divine reality. Go get yourself my free book and audio and video series, The Master Keys of Success and Freedom, to help you create more fun, money, and freedom in your life at freekeysofsuccess.info. And if you have a dream to travel the world when all, when all this psychotic insanity is over and people are done being disempowered, um, so, when, I know you have a dream, everybody does. The purpose of life is joy, and the basis of life is freedom. So everybody wants to travel and have more fun in their lives. So if you have a dream to travel the world, tick off your life list now, rather than waiting till you're old and decrepit to tick off your bucket list. But you don't know where you're going to get the money, especially now that all the financial bullshit's happening. And you know, you know where you're going to get the time. Well, you might have a lot of time right now because you're probably going to get fired from your job. Well, I'm happy to show you how to make extra income right now online, helping yourself, helping other people have more fun and freedom in their lives, helping your other people become financially secure. Um, when the shit stops flying, helping you and your friends start traveling again at, at wholesale prices ranging from like 20 to 75% off. So... Let's you and I lock arms together. Let's help you make some extra money. Let's help you improve the quality of your life. Let's help you be able to pay for your travel and, and even achieve financial freedom. Helping other people to also achieve financial freedom and travel the world. Go to ilovefreedom.info. That's ilovefreedom.info. Let's lock arms. Let's work together. Let's play together. If you do this, you're going to get my mentorship and guidance the entire way to help you succeed and make your dreams come true and help you become financially free. Go to ilovefreedom.info. I look forward to meeting you with you. Uh, you're going to get a free consultation, and I'm going to show you a quick three-minute video to get you on the road to freedom. Thanks again for watching this video uh, or listening to this podcast, and I wish you immense joy and abundance on your magnificent journey of divine creation. And remember to make life a holiday.